Hey guys, it's Legomatic9, and today I'm going to be doing a little update video since I haven't made a video in a while. So I'm just like, you know, might as well just make a little update video. Um, this one's hopefully going to be a little shorter. Um, so today uh, is 12 12 12. Um, as you can see, I opened up the 12th day on the advent calendar, um, which was this guy, uh, and then. Yeah, other stuff. 13 hasn't been opened yet. Uh, but, uh, anyway, so today's was this dude, Rebel Officer. Um, <clears throat> the entire 2012 uh, advent calendar, I don't like at all. I mean, the only thing I like out of it is this guy, mainly because he comes with some useful pieces as well. He comes with, like, a cool <coughs> uh, head, which can be used for different reasons. Um, other than that, all the other stuff is just really kind of crappy, like, the only thing that I've seen so far in this pack are just stuff from Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, and Episode 5, Empire Strikes Back. I mean, there's nothing really that interesting of this calendar yet, I mean, even, even the figure is episode, like, the exclusive figure is episode one. Like, there's no, no Clone War stuff whatsoever, no episode three stuff. I'd really like to see some episode three stuff, too, but I guess we won't get to see that for another year if they make another Star Wars one next year. But, uh, other than that, I'm kind of disappointed. Like, what the heck is this? I know it's an MTT, but, like, come on. You have this big compartment. You have a big compartment, and... This is what you put in it. Come on. So, kind of disappointed in this advent calendar so far. Um, <clears throat> but maybe, I doubt it's going to get better. I mean, we're halfway through and we haven't really seen anything that good yet. The only thing I'm really looking forward to is the R2-D2 and the Darth Maul, but that's about it. So, back to Star Wars. I have another thing to show you, which will come in later, but here's an updated clone trooper. He's a... Uh, Clone Trooper Boost, what I did is I made him more of a sand blue rather than a medium blue, so now his color is more accurate to him. There's him, I'll put him back up here. Uh, yeah, here, yeah, get him in there, there we go. Uh, here's all my clones, by the way. Actually, it's not that many. Um, I mean, a lot of these are really old customs. Um, yeah, some of these are just so old. Uh, then, big gaps right here because I have them. I have all those troopers that are there and a mock that I'm working on right now, which I'll show you at the end of this. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, Walking Dead. I'll get on to that now. Uh, here's some Walking Dead action figures I picked up at GameStop. Took me long enough to find them. Um, I was really looking for a Daryl, but I missed out, and now he's $400. Um so, moving on to The Walking Dead, which is a TV show, by the way. Oh, um, here's something to show you guys. You got Santa Claus right here. Peppermint camo and Christmas camo. All that good stuff. There we go. Um, but, I have Walking Dead figures that I'm going to make a separate video about. I got a whole bunch of them. Um, I'm going to make the video once I finish, finish Michonne. Here's the first look at her. Um, yes, that is a dark red as her jacket. Um, so yeah, I'm, ha I have one of my friends making me a face decal so I can print it out and put it on there since I don't really have any, uh, African American heads. I mean, I'm using the back of a Wolverine head. Then I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm going out this weekend to my f a local flea market that has a whole bunch of Lego stuff. I'm going to get some hip, uh, season s series seven hippie. So I can ha use his hair and paint it black for Michonne. Um, so I have a whole bunch of figures to show you guys. My favorite's right here, which is Daryl Dixon, who's the awesomest character ever. Making up words now, but he's the best character ever, um, in my opinion. He's got a custom crossbow. Uh, he's even got the bolts under there. Or arrows, whatever you want to call them. Uh, just updated the governor. Uh, so yeah, um, <clears throat> now I'm pretty much done with, you know, this stuff, so, uh, uh here's a little turd with a railgun on it, because I got bored, 
But uh, now I'll move on to the uh, base part with other clone. So, yeah, now on to the base part. Okay, so now on to the base part, which is right there. Hold on, let me turn on the lights. So, here's the base mock thingy I've been working on. Um, not really going to get into it as of now. Just wanted to give you a little sneak peek at it. As you can see, it's turned out pretty good. Still got to add some more details. This is just, uh, just so I can still have other stuff to add in here. A lot of stuff, actually. Uh, but, new custom that's going to be popping up in the Clone Wars series is the, uh, the 501st Jet Trooper. Um, he's pretty much done, I would say. I still, I, that thing part chipped off right there, so I gotta paint that back. Then I might touch up the red triangle looking thing on his helmet, but anyway, so here he is. Uh, he's turned out pretty boss so far. He's pretty much done. I completely redid the arms. Uh, if you saw my flicker, he had really crappy arms, so I had to redo the bottom parts of those to make them more accurate. So uh, there he is, and I uh, updated the top of his helmet too, so that blue line goes all the way around. Sorry, it stops right there because that's where the fin starts, but uh, yeah, there's him. I'm probably going to update the lines on the side of his helmet since those are really crappy, but uh, anyway, there's him. I'll just throw him back on his clear stand. This is using a jetpack. Um, so yeah, here's just a quick preview at my mock so far. I got some of the new X-Series weapons, so I'm just like, you know what, they look boss on these guys, in my opinion, so, you know, why not? I have my XSR prototype over there on that new custom, um, and then this dude's a new custom as well, made for this mock and that gun, so there's him. Then this dude's also a new custom. He was made by, a uh, Noble Artists. He was inspired by him, and I just recreated him because he's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys, uh, so thanks for watching, I can't wait to get some of the new 2013 sets that are coming out, um, so can't wait to get some of those, get some of the new 501st Troopers, which look somewhat decent, I mean, I think that, you know, the old Episode 3 style was better, this is an Aerial Light Noma, by the way, um, I kind of like the old Episode 3 style better, because their helmets look way too tall, the new ones look way too tall, but, uh, but anyway, I'm still looking forward to those. I'm looking forward to the new Rex, too, because he's going to be in this mock, because I don't want to have my Mini Fig Maker 1 in here and the decals fall off by accident if they do. Um, so, can't wait to get those. I'm going to put Rex's speeder right there where Tup is standing. But, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching, as I've said before. And uh, a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.